How do we visualize history? In 1967, Enrique Zobel, Jaime Zobel de Ayala, and Carlos Quirino, historian and first director of Ayala Museum, began developing a comprehensive visual approach to Philippine history. The resulting dioramas of Philippine history, from prehistoric times up to our independence, would become one of the first exhibitions of Ayala Museum and a prominent attraction since its completion in 1974 until today. In these two design studies by Mamerta Evangelista for pottery making in Bicol, we see the progression of an idea, elaborated with research, and later executed in a representational tableau. The first study is a rough sketch of a lush settlement, complete with huts, trees, and a water buffalo. Men and women are involved in the different steps of the production of earthenware pottery, which were significant implements for everyday living. As this idea developed, Evangelista's colored illustration depicts each step in the pottery production process, preparing the clay and temper, forming and decorating the vessels, and drying and firing the wares. Finally, with the masterful craft of wood carvers from Paete Laguna, Evangelista studies become a diorama. Here we see the community distributed within this three-dimensional space, absorbed in their own tasks. As a set of sculptures, the composition can now be seen as an immersive installation, as if it is unfolding in front of our eyes. A highlight of the diorama is this woman examining a big clay vessel. The woman, who was just only imagined at first, is now alive as she looks at the completed vessel, the fruit of their individual contributions. Similarly, the process of making history lies in the power of creation. Through art, an idea can evolve into a form, and an event can turn into history. The past is thus made more meaningful, seeing these processes by which history becomes alive.